Yo, what's good y'all? Welcome back to another video of... Actually, I don't even know what this is. I, I just want to talk about a few things in terms of 2K. Um, it's just weird. This is not a boycotting or <laughs> bashing 2 it, It's bashing a little bit, but I'm really not bashing them. But I just... I wanted to change a few things about this game. So first, playing out online. Um, playing out online is cool, but it's just not utilized the right way, you know? Like, there's certain game modes they don't put time in, and Play Now, we see this whole section right here, from Play Now Online to Blacktop, which that should be online too, which doesn't make sense why it's not. Um, those are just not focused. I like Play Now Online because it obviously is like the NBA teams that are in the NBA right now. But in terms of the tears, like if I go, if I try to load up a game right now, and I go to tier 3, which I did play a game probably like a week or two weeks ago. And this is why I just don't play it. Because it, like, it absolutely sucks. Like, you see, you see these tier 3 teams. They're, they're teams that just basically didn't make the playoffs. Which is, once again, perfectly fine. Like, that's fine. Is these teams don't get each other, there's no, like, favorite, right? But... If you go to tier 2, who, who, who do you think we're going to see there? It's going to be a bunch of teams that just kind of, in my opinion, shouldn't be there. And this is why I think you should, like, erase the tier system. Like, don't put a tier system. You need to put a ranking system ranked on the, the way you play. Now, there's a couple playoff teams, couple non-playoff teams, too. About the very good teams, except this team. This team should be a tier 3, honestly. How does it... Pelicans even get here. That should be a tier three team too. See what I mean? Like this, this is a tier three team. Come on, bro. Like you cannot leave some teams in here because some teams are not good. Now when you go to tier one, that's just where it really gets like really tricky to the point where you're like, what? How? I don't understand. Like, and that's me right now. I literally do not understand how did this happen. Like it doesn't make sense. The Lakers, not a tier 3 team. Tier 2, in my opinion. Like, bro, you can't... I would not put this team in tier 1. At all. I, some of these teams in here just don't make sense. I, I don't like it. At all. And to play with Hall of Fame team, Hall of Fame. Like, all-time teams are historic teams. You literally have to complete the tier systems. Which is stupid in itself. You shouldn't have to do that. And there's trophies and leaderboards, which it's like, cool, you guys got a leaderboard, but it's still not a ranking system. And Blacktop is just, it's boring, it's very dull. This is all you get. This is literally everything you get here. 1 on 1, 2 on 3, 3 on 3, 4, 4, 5, 5. And I'll say that kind of quickly, but you get the gist. It's, it's shit. Like, who wants to do that? That's boring this is where you probably come to practice on with your ball handling with i guess players but it's not fun it's literally not fun first of all it should be online it was online it'll be a little bit funner but then again it wouldn't because the way people play 2k people cheese in 2k and we're gonna get to a lot of cheese very soon um yeah they need to add online to blacktop add like games like 21 three-point shootout dunk contest um, little, little mini games for Blacktop that can be fun, but you don't. You just add one on one to five on fives, which is shit in itself. My team. Now this is a very ah uh, okay. I don't know how to, I don't, I'm not gonna know how I'm gonna wear this. I, I I I like watching my team, but and I feel like a lot of people are like this. People would never get into my team because the way cards are played are set up. Or no, the way the game is set up in general. You would rarely ever see someone run point, an uh, actual point guard. People are like, oh, Ben Simmons is a point. No, he's not. He's real. Just because you handle the ball does not mean you are a designated point guard. That does not mean that. You're just a ball handler. So many people are ball handlers. LeBron's a ball handler. But do they run him at point? No. Like, just because you, you handle the ball does not mean you're... Put your position is a point guard. Like I want, I wish a 2K. I wish I could speak to every 2K. Like people that play 2K. I don't know how I was gonna word that, but yeah. 
I just wish I could talk to everybody that plays 2K. Ben Simmons is not a point guard. Um, Giannis is not a point guard. LeBron is not a point guard. Just because you pass the ball and you handle the ball does not make you a point guard. You're a ball handler. You're a ball handler. Your two guard could be a ball handler. Your three, your f- like anybody can be a ball handler. Like in 2013 or 20, 2013, 2014, I want to say, when D-Rose got injured on the Bulls, Joe Kim Noah was doing a lot of the ball handling duties when he won Defensive Player of the Year. He was doing a lot of ball handling duties. Was, was he playing point guard? No, he was just a ball handler. Like, I just need to get that out there because I don't think people really understand. And, hey, I might get some pushback on that, but oh well. I I probably will be showing cards on the screen at this time to show you, like, how dumb it is. And now I'll show you how it really should be. And this will come back to the thing where people don't run point guards. Th- this card that I'm talking about right now is the 97 Pink Diamond Giannis, right? The stats look really good. The stats look really good. Like, if you look at everything, it's like, wow, Giannis plays like this. He plays exactly like this. But okay, we go to the Galaxy Opal. And yes, a Galaxy Opal is the highest tier card in the game. We get that. We, we totally get that. But that does not mean make it unrealistic. Like, I don't know what type of game 2K is going for. I feel like my team in 2K13, which I think was introduced in 2K13, I'm not mistaken, that was the most realistic my team, maybe 2K14 too, that's the most realistic my team has ever got. Like, since 2K15 and up, uh, 2K15 or, two, or 2K16 and up, you that's when you've seen people run LeBron at point guard. You saw them seeing running big point guards. I, okay, the only exception to half of that is Magic. And no, you cannot run Ben. You could run Ben at point guard, but you really... That's probably the only other exception is Ben. He plays point guard, like I said, he's just a ball handler, but I, like, they, they put him at point guard, I, I guess, like, that ass, whatever. But back to his Galaxy Opal Giannis. You look at the stats. This card is literally overpowered. When in your life have, this Giannis has, <laughs> this Giannis has a 99 mid-range all around, a 95 three-point all around. And a 99 free throw. I don't, I don't know. What? How? How? Giannis has never played this good in his life. Never. Like, that doesn't make sense. Giannis has never been a gun gun shooter. He has never been a shooter like this in his life. He improves his three-pointer, and I give him that. And that brings me back to, like, the pink diamond Giannis. This is the perfect example of Giannis when you look at it. Miz range is in 80s. Three-pointer is no higher than a 75. And everything else you see on here is a perfect representation of how Giannis is as a player. And then you go to Ben Simmons. Now, this really just blew my mind about Ben Simmons. Once again, it's a guy's show, I know. Like, this, the guy show was supposed to be the best version of, of the card. Not some unrealistic version of the card. Once again, Ben Simmons. Like, the, the athleticism, I agree. Defense, toned down a little bit. Like, just a little bit. Rebounding, toned down a little bit. Playmaking, I agree. Inside, toned down a little bit. And outside scoring, no. Y'all try to make his three at 88 to be like, okay, we toned down. No, you didn't. It's at 88. Ben Simmons is scared to shoot threes. You know why he's scared to shoot threes? Because he can't fucking shoot a three. So why you give him an 88 three-pointer in a game? I'm like... It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. How do you give him an 88 three-pointer in the game? How? For what reason does he deserve an 88 three-pointer? There was probably one, there was probably like, he shot three once or twice in the game. Oh my God. And I don't have this card up on the screen right now, but Michael Porter Jr. He's a fantastic player in real life. We, but mind you, we have not fucking seen him on an NBA court. Ever. 
He didn't play in summer league last year. He didn't step on the court last year. You know why? Because he had fucking back surgery. So we don't know how the fuck he plays. If you want to give him Michael Porter a card. Now, when I tell you, I've seen this card play. It's a wonderful card. Yeah, this card is crazy good. All his outside scoring is above 90. Athletic. Like, I believe he can be this player, though. This is why I don't really mind it like that. Now, a card that I just... Did, this just actually blew my mind. This card came out a couple of days ago. This is the Sha Galaxy over Shaquille O'Neal. Once again, in my opinion, I think a Galaxy over should be your best version of, like, yourself. It should be the best version of you. And this is not Shaq at all. He has a high 80 in open three. It's an 88 to be specific. Have been hoodwinked, bamboozled, led astray, run amok, and flat out deceived. I don't get it. Inside scoring, I get. Playmaking, how? Who is making these cards? Even on that, defend that lesson, I totally get. But everything else, I literally don't get. I don't get who makes these cards and who comes up with them. And this is like, like that. That was my final point about my team that I just don't get it. I don't, I don't understand the direction they're going in with my team. It doesn't make fucking sense to me. We need a balance. Like, at some point, we need to get a balance. Go back to the way 2K13 my team is, where you could run point guards. I don't know if you got to do position lock, a height lock, or something for my team to make it realistic. And I, once again, this is not a my team rant. This is more of a 2K rant. And this is going to lead me right to my next thing. My career. My career. I have four players that I spend so much fucking time. I got the game... In the first week. I didn't get it day one. I got it somewhere in the first week. First play I made. This. 95 overall. Um, post going athletic. I, lo I, 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 lo I love playing with um, bigs in this game. Because it, it makes the game better for me. Because I, I don't like handling the ball. I don't like dribbling like that. I like controlling the game with a big. And I could do that with this player. And it, it was very fun for me. I, I really had a, I had, had a good time playing that. And it was, you know, it was great. Now, I got kind of tired with that a little bit, so I switched to this play. 90 overall, shot creating slasher. Very fun to play with, but thing about it, if you're not as sharp in this game, people don't like you. Oh, let me not say that. Let's say you're not playing with friends. Like, if you're not as sharp, people like will not trust you in a sense. They'll make you play defense, though. Like, trust me about that. They will make you play defense. But if you're playing with randoms, which is like... People say, oh, don't play at random. But sometimes you literally have to play at random. Sometimes your friends are not on and you want to play. I have to play at random sometimes. And these people will not pass you the ball if you're not a sharp. And if you're a big like I am, they literally will not pass you the ball unless you're really fucking dominant. Or they just don't use your screens. That's all. And then they complain that they don't need screens. I don't get that. How is that possible? How can anyone ISO? How can... Oh, this happens with Pierre Sharps all the time I play with. I try to tell them screen, but I don't need a screen. Cool. Let's see how you score. You can't. A Pierre Sharp cannot score. This is going to lead right into what I'm saying after I mentioned this last character. I have, I have an 85 playmaking shot creator or shot creating playmaker. One of those. I like to play a little bit, but not really because I really don't like handling the ball. I like... I, I, I like playing off the ball, and I like, so to speak, creating for others in a different way other than passing as a main ball handler. Now, um, the thing I don't understand about my career is rep awards are shit. Um, this game is run by sharpshooters, like fucking run by sharpshooters. You cannot win unless you have a sharpshooter on your team. You know why? Because the other team is going to have at least three sharpshooters. Now, I understand where the NBA is going. It's becoming a shooter's league. In a sense. And why I say in a sense? Because there are players like DeMar DeRozan. Very good fucking players. DeMar DeRozan is a fantastic talent. Top five shooting guard in the league. If not, he's six or seven. And you can't... You really can't put him... You can't put him below five. What? You can't put him at six. You're crazy. DeMar DeRozan is a fantastic talent that does not shoot threes. And this is why I say you do not need shooters all the time. You do not need shooters. You need a good team. You need a good team. That's what you need. And this, like with this, stretch bigs. What the fuck is that? 
Can you name five checks bigs in the game that pull from Limitless? None. None. Literally none. The only person that really pulls from Limitless in real life, Steph, Clay, KD, and occasionally other people. But no one is pulling from Limitless constantly like they do in this fucking game. And this is what I get to. This is not realistic basketball. This is not sim basketball. This is arcade basketball. I sound really emotional right now because, like, I've been playing 2K. Like, I started playing 2K in 2K10. Let, let, let's start there. I started playing 2K in 2K10. I don't know video this turned out to be, but I'm just, like, ranting a little bit as you get this stuff my chest because 2K is, like, bullshit. It's bullshit, bro. Like, 2K19 is a... It's a cool game, don't get me wrong, but it's bullshit. So I started playing 2K in 2K10. I was trash. I used to always lose. Brother used to always kill me. 2K11, got better, got better. Like, each year I progressed. Until I started playing online, I progressed, I progressed, and then I learned the game. And then I, obviously you see the game of basketball evolved, and 2K slowly but surely became more arcadey. The most arcade 2K in terms of my park, oh, since my career was introduced, 2K17. That game was a joke. And people want to talk about how bad 2K18 was. It was horrible. I get it. But guess what? I had fun on that game. You know why? We, it, it wasn't a fun game to play, like, necessarily. But I had a great time on that game. I really did. I'm not even going to lie to you. I'm not even going to say that loud to you like that. I really had a great time on that game. Um, but in terms of it, like, Stretch Bigs, when, since they came in, this is it's dumb. The way they make Stretch Bigs look in this game, you will never see a Stretch Big like that in real life. The way shot contests are in this game, and they never really fixed it completely, where you have to always jump, that is not realistic, bro. Like, y'all fucked up 2K18 so fucking bad that y'all tried to make 2K19 the perfect game for shooters. And why is it always about shooters? Why can every build feel the same? Not feel, okay, let, let, let me slow down on that, let me slow down on that. Not feel the same, but feel effective in their own way. Like, I just don't be feeling effective at all with certain builds. Like, with this um, slasher I have, there are times I'm not a factor on the court. You know why? Because I can't shoot. And I'm literally stuck. I'm stuck just sitting in the corner because I can't shoot. And they won't give me the ball unless I can shoot. And they get mad when they give you the ball and you don't shoot. Like, I'm not going to be able to shoot, so I'm, why am I doing... Like, <laughs> just the way 2K is being played is dumb. And this is why I play... My league, to be honest. I play my league. I play had a lot of my league. I have so much fun with these two franchises I have on the channel. The Knicks franchise and the Phoenix Suns franchise. I have so much fucking fun playing these two. My voice is cracking. I sound very emotional. I have so much fun, especially my league online. The only thing I don't like, I just don't like three things on this. I don't like my GM, season, and playoffs. Because those are just, those are kind of just pointless. Those, like, season and playoffs are just probably experiment things. My GM failed, you need to, like, get that out of the game or, like, turn that into, like, a My League story mode, which it should be, but it's really not because it's not a story mode because it has no... You can't really change what goes on in it. I played that game for three, like, the past two 2 Ks. Not very good games. Not very good games. My League Online is very fun. Uh, especially if you get a roster from, like, the roster creator... And then you put it in your My League. You play with a couple friends. It's fun as shit. I swear to God, like, it's fun as hell. And you... It's basically, for me, my team, without all the bullshit I just told you previously. Oh, ho, oh, brother. Ho, oh, whoa, oh, whoa, oh, whoa. Oh. Now, you got too much dip on your chip. Like, I can pick players that play like themselves. Like, my team gets players and they never play with themselves like especially with friends so if you want to run like how my team plays with a lebron at point guard ben simmons at point guard blah 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 you can do that or if you want to run a traditional point guard you can do that you cannot run steph curry at point in my team you cannot run a small point guard. You cannot run someone who is 6'5 and below at point guard. You can't run someone who's 6'5. Because people, like, even people don't even run James Harden at point guard because 
he's like they just don't like I don't I don't understand like maybe they do now but rarely like it's rarely it's always a big ass point guard so it's it was always it's always an MJ Kobe a LeBron people that that do not fucking run point guard and I this is a okay that no I I said I'm beginning the video this was not turning to a rant this is a fucking rant but listen it's not shitting on 2K I actually love 2K and I don't have no intentions of stop playing it but I. I just want to be better, you know. I want all game modes in this game to be better. I want them to add some stuff in my league. I want them to fix up parks, like m make it better for everybody. I like I like what they did for park this year, but I need them to fix it for everybody. Um, like I said, this is not a bashing 2K or a boycott 2K. And I mean, if you feel like boycott 2K, that's that's you. I I love this game and I will continue supporting this game. Even though my, that might sound dumb on me, but I I I enjoy playing sports games. I fucking hate Madden. Um, especially the way Madden 19 plays. I I really do hate it. Um, but obviously I continue to play. I continue to upload it because I love sports games and there is no supplement for these two sports games. There's no supplement for Madden and there's no supplement for 2K. And you can say NBA Live, but that is not something. That game is so wacky and crazy. It's not funny, and that's not shit. No EA. I I used to love NBA Live. The last NBA Live I really enjoyed was probably NBA Live 09. That was probably my favorite NBA Live of all time. I really do. I like if I had that game right now, I would be playing that game. But that's neither here or there. I really just want 2K to be better. Um. I hope people do understand what I'm saying, man. I hope I don't sound like this bitter guy on the internet who's just shitting on 2K for no reason. Not for no reason, but because you want a better game. It's like, I just want things to be good for 2K in all facets. I don't know. I don't know. Um, Yeah, that's, that's going to be the video. Like the video if you did agree and you did enjoy. Please subscribe. It helps out the channel tremendously. Um, comment down below how you felt about this little rant or topic or whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, that's gonna do it for me. Peace. A nigga won't make this easy. I'm wondering why he won't leave me. I'm wondering why he won't leave me. They don't like the way that I treat you. Nigga won't make this easy. I'm wondering why he won't leave me. I'm wondering why he won't leave me.